Hey kids, welcome to uh, lesson nine, printing objects exercise number four. Well, this is a fun one today, kids. Let's jump into it. Getting started, we're gonna import the cake and cookie classes from the backpack. And if you don't have any of those, you can always get the code from here. In cake, we're gonna write a two string method to return a string containing the super class two string, the icing flavor, and the number of layers of a cake object. We're gonna use our new friend here, the escape sequence. This is forward slash N. Remember, there is a difference between forward and backslash. And remember our new friend's escape sequences. In cookie.java, we're gonna write a two string method to return a string containing the super class two string and the is true status of a cookie object. And remember kids, there's a one right answer for this and it's not chewy. And then in my console.java, we're gonna instantiate a cake object and a cookie object and then print information about our cake and cookie objects to the console. Well, that sounds like a lot, but it isn't too bad kids. Let's take care of our first two. We're gonna go up to the backpack. We're gonna get cake and cookie and we're gonna import it. We can see cookie extends the dessert class. So we get all the things dessert has. And we have two more private instance variables. One's an int diameter and the other is a Boolean is chewy. We have our no argument that's set to zero and false. We have our parameterized constructor. It supers the new flavor, new price from dessert. And then it adds diameter and is chewy. And we have two get methods and no set methods. Cake is also extending dessert. It has two private instance variables, number of layers, and the flavor of the icing. Our parameterized constructor supers or gets the new flavor, new price from dessert and adds new layers, new icing. It has a get method for the number of layers and the flavor of the icing. Nothing for a set method. It starts with the cake class, so that's where I'm gonna start two kids. We have to do our two string method. Let's give ourselves some space. Tab over. Let's remember our anatomy of a two string. It's public because it needs access outside of the class. We're ultimately returning with type a string. The method we're overriding is the two string method. We need parentheses and then our curly cues. We want to return something since it's not a void. So we have to type return. And let's look over here for some clues. And up here, we supered the actual variables, right? What we want to super in this one is the method to string. We want to bring all of that stuff in. All I have to do is write super to string, and that's gonna get everything from the dessert class because it's gonna to go to the parent class. After that, it wants the icing flavor and the number of layers. That's not too hard. They want us to use our escape sequences again. So we're gonna to go to a new line. We're gonna say icing flavor, and then a concatenation. What do we want to get here? Well, we want to get icing flavor, right? Because that's our private instance variable. So we want to return icing flavor. Then we're going to concatenate again. And now we got to do the number of layers. We want this printed literally. So we're going to put it in strings, a backslash, and for a new line, number of layers and a little space. Ooh, let's get a little spaces here so we can see what we're typing, kids. Concatenate again. And what private instance variable are we trying to get? Well, that's new layers. We can't see it because we moved over. I'm sorry, not new layers. We want to get 
num layers. So let's go back over here, back over here, concatenate, and write num layers. And then a little semicolon. That should return this string when we call the object cake. Let's give it a try and see what we get. Under here, I believe we have a parameters. So don't forget that there is no, no argument. Let's go over to my console and let's go under here. Let's give us a little room. And let's remember our quotes this time, kids. Give us a little more room again. And let's first make our cake object. What class are we calling? Cake. What do we want to name it? My cake. It's going to equal a new cake. And remember, we have four parameters. Hmm. What do we want to do? I think the first parameter was flavor for a cake. Let's go with something easy. Chocolate. Not easy to spell. Then we need the price. Mm, let's do $3. Next is the number of layers. We'll use seven. And then finally, the flavor of the icing. Let's be basic kids and do chocolate again. Double chocolate. Who doesn't love that? Kids. Let's double check and make sure I got my arguments correct. I was guessing off of memory and kids, we all know my memory here. It doesn't do as well as it used to. Let's take a look. So right now I have flavor, price, layers, and then we have our icing. Under here, it goes flavor, layers, icing, and then price. Remember the parameters that we're putting into have to be exact like this. So it's not going to work how I have it right now. So just remember that just because it's entered like this doesn't matter. It matters up here, how we have it written. Let's go back and rewrite this. We need the number of layers, which is an int. So that should be three. I like a big cake. Again, we'll just keep it chocolate like that. And then price. Let's keep it at $3. Now, when I go over here and go system.out.println and call my cake object, I should get my two string method to print off. Well, let's see if I'm right. And you can see, look, my two string method worked. And the super, remember from the last one, how we were super precise about it? Well, it came here and then we added our two new ones over there. Well, that's only half kids. We got one more to do. We still have to do our cookie. Let's go to our cookie class. Well, let's go down here. Give ourselves a little space. Tab over. And the access we need public. We're returning a string. The method we're overwriting is the to string method. Then we need our curly cues. What is this one returning? Because it's not a void. Well, again, we want to get our price and flavor from above. So we want to do our super to string like that. And then we're going to concatenate. And this one's an easier one. We just want to know if it's chewy. And again, kids, there's only one right answer. How do we write that? We get our quotes and they want it on a different line. So we use our escape character is Chewy like that. And then what variable are we calling is Chewy. That should return price flavor and Chewy. Let's go up here and look. Our parameterized constructor has a string new flavor, double new price, integer diameter, Boolean if it's chewy. We're not printing off the diameter here, but we still have to enter it when we create our object. 
Let's go back to my console and let's create our object. What class? It is the cookie class. We're calling it my cookie. It's a new cookie and the constructor we're calling here has four parameters. And let's make our cookie. I've been in a big oat milk phase. So let's do a oat mill cookie. The price for our cookie, let's make it 99 cents. The diameter, we need five. And then is it truly false kids? Don't forget your semicolon. After that, we're going to go system.out.println. We're calling our object my cookie. Now, when I call my two string method, I'm only going to get three things to print off. What three things? The flavor, the price, and if it's chewy. I guess nobody cares how big of a cookie it is. Let's run and see if we're right. And you can see my new dessert here is oatmeal, 99 cents, and it's false. We didn't write our diameter into our two string, so it didn't print off. That beautifully, kids, shows the flexibility and usefulness of the two string method. Key takeaways for this lesson, again, is understanding why we use the two string method. It's already inherited from the object class. And when we're trying to print objects specifically, it returns the location, not the value. We write this two string method to override this method so we can print off what we want. A couple things to remember, the anatomy here, it's public, we're returning a string, so we want a string type. The method we are overriding is called to string. And since it is not a void, we have to use a return. And then whatever we write in that return is what will be printed off when we call the object. Finally, remember about these escape sequences that we learned about. They're very useful in printing off or going to a new line. Hopefully this helped you understand what the two string method is and how to use it in your program. As always, kids, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. See you later, kids. Bye, bye, bye.